me take up for my my LGBT community. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? If you are new, welcome to the league. So, I ain't gonna cap. I already reacted to this video on my other channel. If y'all haven't been tuning into my other channel, hence is why I'm not on this one. I'm reacting on my other channel. Now, I have to re-react to this video because I feel like I didn't get out everything I wanted to say. Okay. And I'm I rewatched it again while I'm on um, you know, my live stream. Shout out to everybody on Twitch and shout out to everybody on YouTube that's watching right now. Y'all make sure y'all put your Instagrams and your in your YouTube so people can follow you and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh I wanted to speak on this again and react to this again because I got a little something to say. Uh like it. Bro, you're too egotistical. You're controlling. And the sh that you say, bro. I can't be with somebody that got a brother like this and you're not checking them, bro. Natalie, do you not see the problem in this? So first of all, y'all asking me to um react to his video. I can't because he uh puts like he copyrights people videos. So um I don't know if it's if he's under an MCN or whatever, but I can't react to it because I'm not getting my money, so I'm not reacting to it. Um, but I seen it, and a lot of shit that he was saying he was real wild for, I think he meant exactly what he was saying. He knew exactly what he was saying, and he did it, you know, uh, with full malice. You know what I'm saying? Full malice. Um, ever since the beginning, when, you know, Natalie wanted to get his permission to be, you know, Easy's girlfriend, which I never would have asked his ass because they wasn't getting along in the first place. She wanted to get everybody permission or whatever and let everybody know he looked salty as hell when Easy and Natalie said that they was together. Like, I, I feel like he knew that Natalie liked her. And also, he's a little, not a little, he's intimidated by the fact that she's a woman and she running shit, period. I'm, I'm the same. I go through the same shit. We on a different type of bag. She on a bigger bag right now, but I'm getting to the bigger bag. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to have the same issues. And I've already had the same issues. You know what I'm saying? I run shit like a man. My, that's just period. I carry my household. I make sure my woman's straight. She ain't got to do shit. And as a woman, you know, I hold my position down. You get what I'm saying? A lot of men can be intimidated by that. And I feel like he's intimidated by that. And, um, you know, or he's just a weirdo and don't like who Natalie date. You know what I'm saying? Something. But yeah, let's let's watch this. <clears throat> and and I ain't gonna care, but first I thought it was fake. Now I don't think it's fake anymore. So let me get my reaction again. <clears throat> Bro. The fact that you even thought that that was cool, you know what? Look. So I don't know if you guys seen or even if you guys are even subscribed to them, but pretty much Natalie's brother thought it was cool to pretty much talk shit about me on his YouTube channel for a little video idea. Okay. Now I could come in here and just matter of fact, let me shut this camera, bro. Oh, like I don't even know how to start this video, bro, because it's like it pisses me off and y'all know in order for me to lose my shit it has to be that bad you know what i'm saying i'm a goofy ass person i could take a joke especially with with the shit that me and natalie been through you know what i'm saying like all these pranks and stuff like i can literally obviously take a joke or i have to suck it up because that's what we signed up for that nigga said her car was leased when he said her car was leased i felt like it was personal then like saying she was, you know, not cute, whatever, whatever, hating, he probably won't hurt. But <laughs> to say that, um, we all know her Benz is leased, like, what? And then saying she ride Ubers all the time. That shit was wild, but okay. You know what I'm saying? But you, Josh, Natalie's brother, like, the fact that you thought it was even cool to talk shit about me and then post that shit on your YouTube channel, and then now I'm seeing the comments, you know what I'm saying? Like, Come on, man. What is you doing, bro? What are you doing? Obviously, that sparked a nerve in me, and that triggered me to feel some sort of way. And at that moment, there ain't no jokes, bro. There's no jokes. What are you doing? So, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, uh, a couple days ago, Natalie's brother thought it was cool to prank me. So, pretty much in the prank he calls me, 
And we're supposed, to, mind you, we're supposed to be going to his house, you know what I'm saying, to have like a game night or something they invited me to. So literally, uh, Natalie, you know, she calls me like, yo, you wanna have a game night? I'm like, all right, cool. Like, you know, there's been drama with the family, but I'm always trying to make sure like, I'm like, all right, like, let me put my, you know, pride aside. Let me put my ego aside and, you know, mm, suck it up. Fuck okay? that. So he decided to pull a prank on me. And the prank was, I guess, uh, uh, like, he accidentally calls me and they start talking shit about me, talking crap about me, okay? And then I hear everything. The things that he is saying, like, and it's not just me, bro. Like, he knew what he was saying. The mm -hmm. shit that he was saying in the video was, I feel like, actually real stuff that he felt about me. Because of what happened, bro, you know what happened a couple, bro, you know what happened a year ago, bro. That's why me and you not even cool, okay? So for you to say the stuff that you said and then thinking it was like, bro, that shit wasn't okay. And first of all, I've barely been on your channel. So for you to think that it's cool to prank me, like, you know, we ain't even really hashed out, hashed out what happened. Okay. Sound like he wanted to use, you know, your name because I don't even understand why he would even say, like, why he would even do this to you. I could see him doing this to Natalie, but to you, he had malicious intent with this shit. Okay. So immediately when I hear all this stuff that he's saying, I'm like, bro, like, what are you talking about? You know? And at first it's just like, all right, bro, like, whatever, bro. Nat don't have to woman up. Like, here's my thing, right, with Natalie. That's her brother, bro. That's her brother. Like, yo, that's her brother. Now, granted, I don't I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, right? So I don't know if she's telling him, like, don't do that shit and all that. But it does look like in the prank, she followed easy over correcting her brother. But I feel like she can't control him. I don't I don't think there's a situation where anybody can control him because he just do what the fuck he wanna do. You done gave this nigga a bag. You have given this man a bag. Cause I guess apparently he didn't have one at first. You know what I'm saying? So easy come in trying to help the family and shit. And he done turned on him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy. So now he's a hating ass nigga with a bag now. You know what I'm saying? And she's not checking. She can't check him. It's not happening. That's she know it. She knows she can't check him. That's why she don't say nothing to him. I feel like. And I don't know what Easy want her to do, but if Easy makes the decision on leaving Natalie because of her brother, I don't blame him. Because that, don't nobody have time to be going back and forth with your brother after I put him on? Nigga, what? Oh, uh -uh. Like, Natalie, control your brother. Like, he's, he's literally talking crap. I just want to talk to him. Like, for you to be comfortable enough, like, y'all seen the video? You to be comfortable enough to talk to your homie about it, whether I know it's real or not, you gotta understand how I'm processing this. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, to go back to the video, like y'all like y'all seen the video. So, you know, I'm talking to Natalie and I'm like, all right, bro, I'm hot, I'm heated, you know? And like I said, for me to get heated, like I'm, I'm, there, I'm literally always on 10 when it comes to happy energy. So I'm telling Natalie, you know what? I'm gonna calm down. I just wanna talk to him, all right? What really went overboard was the fact that I got there and I told Natalie, like, I don't want nobody talking about me behind my back, especially your family. We got too much drama for, for and, and this is too. Even if Natalie say that, even if Natalie said, you're not finna disrespect my girl, whatever. Who's, who says that she hasn't said that? He don't give a damn. He was laughing the entire time. Like he thought that shit was a joke, like for real. But he knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. But Natalie ain't stopping that shit. He a grown ass man. But trying to bully easy. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. Sensitive for you to be talking about me, okay? So when I get there, I'm gonna have a conversation with you, bro. That's what I'm gonna do. But the fact that I get there and you're still talking shit about me, understand what I'm thinking. We're not that cool. We were trying to make things work, bro, but you had to spark that. It's too so my guy he so, sounds pressed know, to I me got heated i got elevated or whatever my actions and how i reacted i don't take shit back sound like he got a crush and on easy reminds me bro like we just had christmas together okay? no one in history and y'all on youtube don't see everything so when you see us actually together no that's a huge step and when i came to christmas to their Christmas, and you can literally see how genuine it's like, all right, let me put all the bullshit aside, and let's, it's Christmas, come on. We can all be kumbaya, you nah, know what I'm saying? hell no. Like, having a good time, and then you say stuff like this, 
to me, is way too soon, bro. So you're even be playing with me like that. Mm-mm. And then when I'm telling you, like, and you see how upset I am, bro, it's a brain, it's a... No, bro, the shit that you were saying in that video, that's some of the stuff that happened while we're not cool right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that night, the real reason, the real reason, bro, that's what triggered me. You know the stuff that you were saying that day was the same shit you were saying that night. We went we're from half cool. a mil to 175k. So of course I'm going to feel some sort of way. <clears throat> that's like one of your like one of your friends you know one of them friends that be like say talk shit and be like no I'm just playing no you're not no you're not bro I don't care about a prank bro you know bro that's why I was so heated not because it was a prank bro but, but the stuff that you was saying why we stopped the, the family project all of us it was all of us we started the family project me you Natalie Zasha Isaiah you know what I'm saying that's how it started. It wasn't no just y'all three over there. Because if y'all don't know, we all had that. Where was Easy and Natalie? Out of nowhere. This is why the family project didn't work, bro. And I, I'm, I'm not understanding how they all started the channel. Easy was the, was the top dog, but he got to keep the channel. And I honestly feel like it's because she probably was saying like she ain't want no, no drama with him. You know what I'm saying? She was probably like, nah, I don't want to beef with the nigga. Just let him have a channel. You know what I'm saying? Me and Natalie about to do what we do. And it's going to blow up. And they channel is definitely bigger than theirs. And even after, you know what I'm saying? Them leaving. So it's just like, bro, you're hating. You're a hater. <laughs> like, the shit that I had to go through, that we had to go through, bro, you're too egotistical. You're controlling and the shit that you say, bro, come on, man. And if he's egotistical and controlling y'all, Natalie's not, she can't do nothing. He's just being a, 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 a what you call it? A B-A-N, you know what I'm saying? He's being a B-A-N. Bitch ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Girl. You know, bro. That shit, wow. We got into a huge ass argument that ended our friendship, bro. You were like my best friend, bro. I called you my brother. At a point, you know, in, in Jamaican terms, I was like Fada. Somebody I look up to, bro. And the fact that we ain't still ain't even hashed that out. You think that it's cool to prank me and say all the stuff that you're saying when the beef is not really like, all right, let's handle this, bro. Huh? Bro, what yeah. the? Bro, like, I'm tired of holding my tongue, bro. I'm tired of holding my tongue, okay? This is why shit doesn't work out. You guys know, y'all know that there's obviously something going on between me and Josh. I knew from we that video. Nah, I knew from that video. I never watched their videos a day in my life until after um, her and Natalie got together. I didn't even know Natalie had a brother and all that shit. I wasn't watching that at first. I had got in, I started watching it when they got into the relationship and shit. Y'all only get to see 10 to 15 minutes of our life. There's 24 hours in a day. This is why there's so much okay. drama, bro. Okay. Like, what is you doing, bro? I swear to God, after seeing that video, it's like, there ain't no limits, bro. There ain't no limits, man. Natalie and I, the drama, the, the, the almost possibilities, the breakups, due to the you, bro, we possibly won't work out, bro. I don't even know if I can do this anymore, bro. Like, the shit, the drama, like, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, how am I supposed to be with somebody that got a brother that can't just control himself? It's too controlling, egotistical, bro. Like, don't give a fuck about anything. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Don't care. <laughs> huh? She can't how help. She to, can't like, stop like, that. Like, then you should know Natalie ain't going to be able to do. Natalie ain't stopping that nigga. <laughs> like, at some point, you know, I feel where um, the fact that y'all don't know what BAN is. Using that for now. Oh, okay. Y'all do know that. Uh, uh. But yeah, like, hell no. Nah. Natalie's not going to be able to check him. He top of the BAN charts, bro. Like, facts. Top of them. Especially if you beefing like young dog say, you run around here beefing with a dyke nigga that ain't gangster. Like, come, what are you doing? <laughs> why you so threatened by me? That's why he laughing this shit. Hiding from that pain. Want to cry. Because he ain't mad enough to be easy, man. You ain't mad enough to be a Disney. <laughs> a lesbian. Let me not say a dyke because some people get offended. But you know, 
he not man enough to be, you know what I'm saying? A woman that that hold it down. Period. Natalie, bro, I don't know, man. Mm. Like you need to control your brother, bro. She can't. Like, that's the part. Him, that's the part bro. I want easy to know. Me and you, that ain't I've been dealing with this shit for so long. How am I supposed to keep dealing with this, bro? Like I don't even know, bro. I like that like, B.O.B. too. I swear, bro, I'm supposed to be going to freaking Miami. I need to leave, and I gotta leave to freaking hear this. I'm supposed to be, bro. Like what? Come on, man. The, bro, I swear to God, you don't be thinking, bro. Like, bro, this shit, bro. I don't even know. Easy is more bro. aggressive than Natalie, though. Like, Easy is way more aggressive when it comes to, like, I guess her demand or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, and plus, that's a man. I just don't, I don't see, I don't see it happening. We're not dealing with, like, a dude that's just, like, talking shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A little petty shit. This, he is an asshole, y'all. He laughed the entire time. He sat there and talked cold cash shit about her and was okay with that, bro. He was okay with that. He knew what he was saying. He knew what he was saying. That shit just hurt her feelings. Really? It hurt her feelings. But it could be fake. It could be fake. And that's why I reacted the way I reacted the first video. But now I'm feeling like it's not fake. I ain't gonna care. Launch a celebrated art career. But if it is or if it ain't, I meant what I said regardless. <laughs> a cheap studio. A Squarespace website with an expensive... I feel you on that, Courtney. Show, show her you on her side. After your first solo show. I feel you. Bro, I swear, bro like, I'm on, I'm on a different type of time, bro. Different type of level, bro. No, we don't be worried different about dudes. Different type of level, man. I am so heated, He do want to cry. Like you That's why he know, laughing. Bro. People laugh. Laugh now, cry later. He's smiling behind the pain. You know <laughs> why we not here. I can't provide like easy. I can't go buy Rolexes and shit. Yeah, bro. I don't even bro. I know who's mad as fuck we seen they got the Rolex. Mad. For shit. I can't keep doing this, bro. Like, y'all seen the video? Nigga, uh, Natalie's watch. No, Easy's watch was like 150K. Her watch was 150K. Y'all listen to this. Peep this shit, right? You meet a chick. The chick wants you to meet the family. You put the family on. The brother's a dick, but you still work it out with him. He becomes an asshole to the point where you like, you know what? I want to leave. And maybe Natalie just wanted to leave too. So Easy was like, basically, nigga, listen, we can go do a channel together. Run this shit up. Natalie was, Natalie was like, bet. They run the shit up, surpass them. Ran the shit up, surpassed them, got way more money, and they lit. He mad. And he's mad that she's doing it with his sister. And then they're together. Now. Now she got your sister. Mad as fuck. I hear my side of the video, like, period, bro. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I can't be with somebody that got a brother like this, and you're not checking them, bro. Natalie, do you not see the problem in this? Bro, what are you doing? Um, I think he's gonna make a video because of the clout. But I can't, I, I can't cap, I can't even react to his video. Um, because he be copywriting this shit. But I'm gonna say this, listen. It's a lot of dudes that get real, real weird when a woman is handling her business. So just imagine a feminine woman handling her business and they can't handle that. Then you got a stud out here moving like she a man. That's when you out here moving like you a man. It ain't moving like a man, nigga. I'm a boss. <laughs> nigga, I'm a boss. You get what I'm saying? Easy drop more than a uh, more than a hundred thousand on Natalie. That that was just a watch. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a boss, nigga. Don't 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 even put me in a category of a, a a lesbian with money. Don't put me in a category of a woman with money, nigga. I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? And you don't like the way I'm moving. You a hater. He hating. And then she got the nerve to date his sister. Oh, he upset. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. It is what it is. I don't feel like she can control him. I don't think anybody controlling him. 
I just think he, he a punk, you know what I'm saying? Capital B A N, you know? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If y'all want me to keep certain reactions over here, let me know. On Royalties World, because that's why I'm uploading this video too. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm ending my YouTube video. We on to the next video. Peace.